So I'm going to do some more video today. The improvements are continuing, but I thought I would show you what I've been doing with the electrical stimulation device, um, also known as the Trophic, Trophic Stimulator, um, which you put these electrodes on your face. This is the unit, and you put the electrodes on your face, and then it stimulates the muscles to contract um, thus ensuring that they don't atrophy and also the uh, according to the booklet um, these also encourage the nerve to fire um, so I'm not going to at this point discuss the clinical benefits or not of these but I'm going to show you how I use this this the device I've got has got two sets of electrodes and basically you put them in certain places on your face and then you switch the control unit off, on which is this unit here very simple on off switch and I'll show you that in a moment so the first thing I'm going to do is take my glasses off and then I'm going to stick the electrodes on you'll have to excuse me because I haven't got a mirror in front of me I've just got the screen with the uh, with the video capture okay so here we go with the using of the electrodes so first thing is get some surgical tape and rip it rip off four pieces of surgical tape so with four bits of tape ready to go I then get the electrodes and I have to put some gel on the electrodes to ensure that there's a good contact between the electrode and the skin so I'm now going to do this because it takes a bit of time and you don't want to sit through it I'll, uh, I'll speed it up for the benefit of uh, when you see this video okay Okay, so I've attached the electrodes to my face. Uh, it's a little bit more awkward than doing it in front of a mirror, trying to use the, the screen on the video. So um, not quite as accurately positioned. This uh, should come down. I've actually got information on where to position the electrodes. Um, so uh, I'll post that on the website as well. Um, so you can download it. But... They're, they're positioned, there's a number of different places, um, there's six locations that they talk about, different places for the face. And then the next thing is to use the actual um, unit. So simple on off switch, so switch it on and you can see the green lights go on and off. So off and on, okay. So when the green lights are on you can press the top buttons to actually increase the amount of stimulus that you get but it doesn't work to increase it if you press them when they're not lit up so as you can see I'm upping it quite a lot it shouldn't be so that you can feel pain but you should be able to fill the stimulus on the electrodes. It's important that you've got that gel on there to make sure that they've got a contact. Okay, so I can feel it now. It's taken a few presses of the button and now I can feel the pulsing. And then you sit there with this on. Now obviously, if you're using one of these, you need to follow your doctor's instructions or your physio's instructions, uh, the instructions I've got uh, and this was purely for me, was start off with 10 minutes a day and increase it by 10 minutes a day um, and not make sure that when these are green lights coming on and it's firing I can feel it but I can't uh, feel any pain it should just be I can feel a stimulus and you kind of get used to it and I tend to uh, turn it up when I've had it on for a period of time because uh, 
I don't know whether the gel means that uh, you can't feel it so much. Yeah, uh, I talk next when I've taken it off about what I think it's doing for me and my Bell's palsy. So I've just taken the uh, the stimulator off. Um, you will learn to use less tape the more <laughs> you use one of those things. It becomes a bit painful. But in terms of the results I found with the um, electrotropic stimulation, I think it's difficult to say one way or another that it has been the thing which has cured it, improved the Bell's palsy. But certainly when I started using it, I did find that uh, I did have some more improvement just after starting to use it and the improvement has continued but I think there is a real lack of clinical studies which uh, demonstrate whether or not this is coincidence it could be that the, the nerves were regrowing and and the improvements that I had were just a matter of course and a matter of doing the exercises the stretching and the other exercises with the face or whether it was the, uh, the the electrodes which which did it, I don't know. But if you're like me, in terms of the way you're thinking about your Bell's palsy, you will do everything that you can do which may have a positive effect. And I have to say, if I had a choice between doing this and not doing it, I would do it. And I've got the device and I continue to use it even though I'm not sure whether or not it's benefiting. So my advice is if you can get one of these little stimulator devices with the electrodes on, I would get it and, and I would use it. And as to whether it's going to make the difference, I can't tell you yes or no, but isn't it better to try and do everything that is going to have a positive effect? That's my attitude.